Hello, I'm Zainab Gertin and I'm a research associate at the Department of Sociology. I work on assisted reproductive technologies in Turkey and on cross-border reproductive care. Hi, I'm Fran Bigman. I'm a third year PhD student at the Faculty of English and my research is about representations of abortion in 20th century British literature and film. Hi, I'm Robert Prallett. Um, I'm a second year PhD student in the Department of Sociology. Uh, I'm interested in what lesbians and gay men in Britain think about becoming parents, in particular what lesbian and gay non-parents think about the different ways in, in which having children is possible these days. Um, so SURF, the Cambridge Interdisciplinary Reproduction Forum, has been running for um, seven or eight years. It started off as just a series of discussions among um, graduate students, a bunch of us who were interested and working on issues around reproduction, including um, on issues around contraception, uh, breastfeeding, parenting, assisted reproductive technologies. We found it just very useful to come together and discuss our ideas, to um, help each other out, read each other's work, to discuss the various theorists from our own disciplines that we were using. Um, so there was a group of us from sociology, social anthropology, psychology, history and philosophy of science. Um, and then CRASH just provided us an opportunity to slightly formalize those meetings uh, and enabled us the opportunity to create this forum where we could not only um, have sort of our uh, discussion groups at lunch times or reading groups but also uh, slightly more high profile seminars and workshops and it's just kind of been growing from then on. Um, one of the big things that we do every year is a one-day workshop where we invite researchers from all the different um, departments in Cambridge, both social science, humanities and the sciences, to come and present whatever it is that they are working on or that their group is working on, on issues related to reproduction. And those workshops have been great in that they're both informal um, and novel opportunities for people to find out exactly what's going on, to create new conversations, and quite a few collaborations have also arisen from the connections made through those workshops, which we're really happy about. Hmm. Yeah, I think the, the workshop we just held uh, last November really showcased the interdisciplinarity. We had 12 speakers from about nine different faculties and departments. And that was really exciting, speaking about everything from Ado uh, adoption in interwar Germany, to reproductive health in rural Venezuela, to midwives and early Christian texts, to representations of babies in World War I literature, mm -hmm. and it also gave a lot of uh, first year PhD students uh, a chance to present their work for the first time in a very supportive environment, which is something we also are keen to do. Mm. And I think last year's workshop as well that as well as what surf has been doing for the last seven or eight years now really shows how broadly we understand uh, reproduction um, in this research group so uh, we're not just interested in how human reproduction occurs um, and the different processes that could be described as biomedical uh, but we're also very much interested in the broader social context uh, the different relationships that um, that emerge particularly more recently um, with different reproductive technologies becoming more and more widespread um, and also uh, how reproduction is being portrayed in, in different art disciplines or um, humanities, um, how we can see this concept from a more historical point of view, how it's evolving constantly um, and we have been, by doing more of these events, uh, to really maintain this really broad focus. Last term we had a talk on full-term breastfeeding by someone in sociology who's visiting from the University of Kent, Charlotte Faircloth, who pleased to be one of the founding members of some yeah. of them, in fact. Oh, yeah. Um, who has interviewed a lot of mothers who breastfeed their, their children through the, you know, up till, you know, maybe three years old or five years old and um, their experiences. And we also had um, someone from the University of Amsterdam come and talk about the representations in the media of egg freezing and how women in their 20s are now being encouraged to freeze their eggs now and how that kind of creates a delayed uh, idea of reproduction. 
This spring we have a lot of really exciting events, including um, an artist who's going to come talk about YouTube birth videos, who's uh, made some art that is going to be uh, at a gallery in East London this spring, who's going to talk about that. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about a couple of literature events we have. Um, we have someone coming from Birkbeck to talk about representations of pregnancy in post-war American fiction. And Susan Squire from Penn State University is going to come talk about reproductive technologies in literature. So it's very exciting. There's certain kinds of events that we try and, and, and do and maintain the format every every year, like our evening seminars when we invite speakers from outside of Cambridge. And we have a few more coming um, this coming term. So we try to organize those events fortnightly, um, invite everyone in Cambridge who's interested. Um, in addition to it, um, we have something new this coming term. Uh, we're organizing a lunchtime workshop on ethics and reproduction, and it will consist of full sessions happening every two weeks, uh, where again we look at reproduction f from an ethical point of view, t touching on very different topics and from very different disciplinary angles. So um, we will have uh, one of our conveners who's in, uh, involved very much in ethics presenting the first session, uh, and then we will have also um, sessions touching more on history, um, literature and sociology, um, and we're hoping to maintain a, a, a common thread throughout uh, those session and the sessions and encourage really PhD students um, and other researchers working at Cambridge uh, to contribute to it. Um, and hopefully there will be a very lively discussion going on. Um, at, it will be at 1.30 every other Monday in Lent term. <laughs> right, starting um, next week, the 28th, and we're, we're going to be talking about male pregnancy and uh, other hot ethical issues. Mm -hmm. So please do come. <laughs> and there's more to come in for the rest of the term. Um, and as we've mentioned already, the evening seminar is also happening fortnightly at five here at Crash. Um, and we were also doing those in Easter term, uh, where we'll have even more exciting presentations from, from people outside of Cambridge. I mean, I guess it's worth saying that our goal right from the very beginning has been to try and create a sense of community among reproduction researchers from different disciplines, um, because particularly doing a PhD can be a slightly solitary and lonely experience. And if we can find like-minded others who are interested maybe in similar issues, maybe from very different angles, um, we would we would love them to come and join us for conversations, interdisciplinary conversations around reproduction. So we would very much encourage everybody to visit our website. You can find it on, on the main Crash platform. Um, and there's also a mailing list, which we would very much encourage everyone to join so that they can stay updated about everything that's coming up and hopefully see many of you in Lent over the next couple of weeks.